Shut up, dogs! Sorry, they just won't shut up. It's like human beings. They just won't shut up. But anyway, Jacobs, uh, thank you for asking me to say something humming because I need to. I just said that last video that I did, it was just something I needed to do to get off my chest. My Grand Optimus Prime Matrix having chest. But uh, anyway, I don't get a chance to talk to the, the most people that I talk to or hang out with never have the time to, uh, uh, hey, Bones, what you been up to? And then I go into, oh, yes, uh, my graphic, nobody has time to do, listen to or do uh, uh, pay attention, but I believe you do because you are my ancient brother and I'm going to do this. And because you asked me to, you gave me the opportunity. But anyway, what have I been working on? I have been working on my ultimate graphic novels that I've been working on since, uh, even before Rising Sun Studios that I, I, I'm sure I talked about before. It's still the same thing. I am, I am one infinite project that never ends. And that's kind of the point. It's not launching my own uh, to rival Stan Lee and to make Jack Kirby uh, proud infinite universe graphic novel comic book universe whatever that's what I'm doing I'm going to put it out to you as quick as I possibly can for the sake of myself uh, so I can uh, have a picture of it because it's so grand and so much for me to uh, handle and I only get to you know with life how it is and it, you know as an art as a fellow artist you know you can't choose when you get to be inspired and work on things it just happens you know we are part of whatever riding the wave of the ocean of greatness if you will but anyway so uh the other week after i got that job that was pulled away from me of course always you know as soon as i'm about to do something great uh, something from stupid life comes to take it away from me but good news uh, apparently i have uh, an angel at NIU and someone who is a fiery dragon but of, of little stature that runs a lot of shit that loves the fuck out of Bones Justice and talking to vice presidents and da 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 I don't want to get into the and I can't you know uh, talk about the specifics of it but somebody's fighting for me and that is great to fucking know because I don't know anybody but my mother <laughs> God bless her to the, that fights for me. And I know you love me and da-da-da, but you know what I'm saying. But uh, she's fighting for me, so I might get to keep my job. But anyway, the job is only important so I can continue and have uh, comfort, be comfortable, and know that I'm not constantly on the fighting edge of trying to stay off the edge of falling off and that I, I don't uh, have to worry about uh, the monies and things of this nature. I've been, uh, you know, poor the entire time you've always known me and almost begging for stupid shit. And all it takes for me to be happy and write shit comfortably is like $10 a day and I live like a king. You, you I know you understand this. But anyway, so my incredible comic book universe i just started writing uh, uh not unsurprisingly again after so long uh has been coming to fruition for all these years uh i just started you know it it, it, it came back to me and was like hey we need to write this so we need to write this stuff so the other week before I got the bad news. It's Monday, but I got good news, so I'm I'm on a positive tip. Anyway, out of the first five graphic novels, each of which are composed of at least probably twelve issues apiece of at least twenty-three pages apiece. Da da da. Do the math. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Starts in near future, where something, an event, happened. I don't let you know because you're not to know and still I am it, it's still 
fueling through me. But something happened. And this uh, story starts six months after. Two main characters, uh, two girls. One girl, her best friend, and her older brother. Six months after a big event happened that changed the world. A 9-11, but it was the moon. Part of the moon exploded. Very small part, like 25, maybe 10, 13%. Push. Something happened. Boom! Moon exploded. Everything started going fuckery on planet Earth. This is six months after. The comic book starts with them... Uh, without the older brother, uh, the two main characters in the first graphic novel that takes place slightly, uh, you know, in a future 2000XX or two, yeah, yeah, 2000XX, whatever, uh, watching the first presidential address after like the six is months when power finally comes back on everything's fine everything's safe you know don't worry uh, part of the moon exploded in front of the eyes of everyone on the planet and things went crazy and da 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 here's the first presidential address it starts with the two girls uh one which is a uh, amalgam of you know Penny from <laughs> Inspector Gadget and all my favorite super powerful awesome girls and uh, her friend and they're both awesome characters you look into my Facebook you see pictures of them whatever goes into presidential address he addresses this and this and thank you for da 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 and don't worry things are going to get back to nature and everything's fine and da 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 and everything's fine da 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 and it, of course it's not. And it's still the same powers that be. But this goes all the way back. It's crazy, Jacobs. Brother Jacobs. Because this is a story that I've been writing for the past, like, 20 years. Or you can even go back farther. And it just, it, it, it has, it's a universe of itself. I'm not writing a story. I am building a universe. Like I said, Stanley and Jack Kirby and Disney, fuck him, please. That could, can go on for ages and ages and ages. But it's all pure and awesome shit. And I still don't know the end and I don't know the beginning or da 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 da. But anyway, it starts a little bit in the future. They see the, uh, it starts with the first presidential address. That's first issue of 12 issues of what is called Our World. And it is like I said, the main characters that start in the current era of Vera and uh, Panda. Uh, Vera's the, the pinker, the, the, doesn't matter. Them and the brother, and it, they, it takes place in a place in Colorado, but it's totally DeKalb. Uh, but Colorado comes into place later because it's... Uh, I will totally give you all the spoilers. I don't care, I know you want to... Um, you know, the big mountain in Colorado where uh, they have the secret base or whatever of government base and uh, what's that Matthew Broderick movie, uh, War Games and stuff like that, that one. And this goes back to my own grandfather, you know, uh, stories use truth and da da da. Uh, but Vera, my main character, my Mickey Mouse, if you will, I hate to say that, but you know what I'm talking about. Vera is the best and coolest girl ever, uh, based off Penny from Inspector Gadget, uh, but cooler. But anyway, um, so they watch the presidential address, then it goes into a whole story, and there's like, uh, I have the first five issues I just finalized, storyline-wise, um, you know, there's three arcs that go through the 12 issues. There's the first arc, uh, middle arc, third arc, uh, 12 issues, graphic novel, first graphic novel done. By the end, um, I, don't, I don't know how much time I have on this, and I talk fast, and time is irrelevant to me. But uh, by the end of that arc, uh, you get thrown into my universe of, okay, we're in... Uh, Right now, after the super event happens, uh, and there's going to be a companion com comic that comes with the first comic, uh, the first issue of Our World, 
um, that has a special, special edition uh, CNN or whatever, uh, we still don't know what made the moon explode, or not, you know, the part of the moon explode, uh, and the effects that it has had on the Earth, and everybody's been without power. The ultimate, you know, all power goes out, all, you know, a, a apocalypse, but it's six months after and everything's fine, you know, whatever. Uh, this is the the world's view or the the real news not fake news the real news version of it companion comic that goes along with the first issue of our world which lasts 12 issues and throughout it you 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 see the effects of the event um that uh, so hard to explain i i'm juggling like seriously seven different graphic novels that uh well this will make sense okay after the first 12 issues of our world uh they they are the truth is slightly unveiled you get to know more and more and more even though uh the the companion to the first issue tells you what has happened in the world it doesn't tell you why and doesn't exactly tell you what has happened but um everything's good and they get captured by the 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 anti-census, the anti, you know, New World or whatever that is used the uh, the event, you know, the the moon half blowing up, whatever, uh, to take control of the world, da da da. Okay, this is the newest story I've I've, I've written. Every story I've written for the past twenty years has been part of this giant, overarching universe. Okay, that I didn't know when I was writing them back then that would come to this new story. This newest story that with Vera and Panda and her brother and whatever. The first story that I used to launch my universe on that other level is the newest story I've written. So I'm totally writing backwards, you dig? But... So those 12 issues happen, and then cliffhangers, and I, then I jump all the way back to ancient Rome, where the census first, well, not first started, but jump back to ancient Rome, and the stories that I was writing when I was with y'all at Rising Sun. No, for, for shiggity, no doubt. They all, everything I've ever done, <laughs> it's amazing, man. It's part of one giant fucking thing. It's overwhelming, but I fucking love the shit out of it. But anyway, so it goes back to Tales of Chaos Vibena, uh, ancient Rome, where the first census came. Da -da -da. And then after that 12 issue, or 8 to 9, I, I'm not sure yet, uh, issues where Carl is one of the, uh, uh, Carl to the Carl, I, I, I uh, cast as one of the uh, uh, Roman emperors and da da da. Anyway, uh, one of the first, then that jumps forward to uh, Chaos of Abema, I, it's actually, you know, I, my lineage or, you know, whatever, and my... Uh, ancient Egypt, but not to, you know, you know. Anyway, jumps forward to Scotland and Skoda and the daughter, at, or uh, Robert the Bruce, another lineage of mine. So all of my shit is ha based in truth, you know, as all good fiction is. Uh, so. Future, back to Rome, forward to Scotland, Chaos with Benna, Robert the Bruce, daughter of Skoda. Scotland was created by the daughter of Skoda, who was the daughter of, now we jump back, <laughs> another 12-issue graphic novel of Nefer Hotep Ness the First. And then that, and all those have cumulate in another thing that goes back and gives you more backstory of 
Babylon and ancient Sumeria and stuff, and then it jumps forward, but still teases a little bit, jumps forward to my story of uh, early Chicago and the nun, uh, who's based off of uh, my favorite uh, actor girl, and, and old Chicago gangster, and then bring you back up to, then there's like two, three, three, what you would call modern times-ish, and there's always mysteries in this. Like, it's mystery to me still, you know, obviously. Uh, but this is all part of one giant story, and we start in a little bit to the future, go all the way back, and then gradually come forward and six, seven graphic novels later, get back to... Uh, Vera and Panda and and Jack and to what actually I'm what happened uh, Neferhotep Kales for Bena uh, Tales of Kales for Bena uh, History and Truth of Robert of Bruce all all of it comes back I blew up <laughs> the moon no spoilers that part of the moon, because it's part of the control thing of the census that started in uh, Sumeria and then was official in Rome during Chaos Vibena and then tried to get fought in, the, in Scotland. It, it, it all fucking... I've been doing this all my fucking life, man. So... So many action figures and t-shirts <laughs> I could sell, but for real. I've never not been about this shit. I don't know if you, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but there's a tear right there. A little bit. Tears of joy. While I'm hollering at you, homie. And this doesn't even uh touch on the music project that I'm doing, the Wizards of Gore. And my suit and my armor that I'm creating, the combination of everything I've ever loved in music. But you know. I've only got so many hands, you know, and time and things of this nature. I'm just trying to have a job <laughs> and have a steady life, you know, whatever. But uh, love you, man. Thanks for listening.